Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. This is your captain speaking, Sapphire Satoshi, and in this one, part 13 of our Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Pokemon Emerald Let's Play where the real goal is just to enjoy Gen 3 and everything that the Hoenn region has to offer. We are now facing off against a Magnemite right now, which we will be capturing for the Pokedex. In the last episode, we defeated our Papa and claimed the 5th Gym Badge. And then Watson of the Mobile Gym requested us to come back here and turn off the underground generator as a safety precaution. So we are going to do that for him because we are heroes. We are also going to come down here, train some Pokemon, and capture some Pokemon. What move? So using this Magnemite to weaken it some more. I guess we'll just hit it with Bite. But yes, thank you so much for being here. We do appreciate your viewership. Please consider liking this video and subscribing as well as checking out the other content on this channel. I do post very frequently on the Instagram and Twitter, so feel free to reach out on there. I love talking to people. In this episode, we're going to make it through New Mavile, and then we are going to continue on the path to Fortree City because we need to get our sixth gym badge next. Having a lot of fun with this playthrough. It's been great. The team is starting to look really good. I'm super happy with the way things are going. We are now going to capture this Magnemite. Wow, almost took out Sidewinder there. We definitely need to capture this Magnemite. It is too dangerous to be left outside. Very nice. We're not even that far into the episode, and we have made two new Pokedex entries, and I think those are the only two Pokemon that you can capture in this area. The units, as its side, are extremely powerful magnets. They generate enough magnetism to draw in iron objects from over 300 feet away. Very nice and useful Magnemite. He can use the Force. Magnemite is one with the Force, at least for 300 feet. After that, we're not really sure, but... I believe that's all the Pokemon you can capture in the power plant or the new, new mobile, whatever we're calling this. So I'm going to use a Super Repel because I don't want to uh, take up a bunch of time running away from battles and whatnot. So there we go, Super Repel is now active. Oh, okay. Still going to get into a fight here. I need to switch the front Pokemon in my party, I think. That is my fault. Let's put Captain Swamp up front here, so hopefully these wild Pokemon stay away. And we can continue on our quest to New Mob Island and get our work done down here. That way we can continue in the Land of Eternal Trumpets. I believe over here we have a little Pokemon, maybe. Nope, I know some of these are Vault Orbs. I remember that much, at least. I think this is a part of the game you can actually, like, entirely skip. It just, I think you only get Thunderbolt from this, from doing this whole new mobile thing. I don't remember what else you get, but that might be the only thing, the only reward you receive. Whoops, I meant to use Mudshot, but I didn't accidentally misclick and use Water Gun. It's gonna cost us the whole battle. Get out of here, Vault Orb. We have great work to continue. Are there any electrodes in here? No, I don't think that's till we get to the Team Aqua base off of Lily Cove. Do we get the electrodes? Who knows, though. There we go, a paralyzed heal, not too bad. Might make use for that later. Let us continue on. What is down this hallway? And a full heal, that's nice, but we really want the switch under there. There we go. Alright. Keep it moving right along. Very nice. And this is all we gotta do. Shut this bad boy off. Alright. And then we get the Thunderstone too. Nice. Just in case we need that. Alright. And just in time the repel did wear off. We will use our escape rope to get out of here. No more playing around. I don't think that we have any more business in this area of the game. So, with the work being completed, let's head back and report to Watson. We did exactly as you told us, Watson. Yay, got the Thunderbolt. Thank you, good sir. Don't know if he will teach that to Raijin because he has the shockwave, but we'll see if it needs it. We got the Thunderbolt now if we need it. All right, cool. Watson is happy now. 
We are heroes of Mobile City. Let's continue to Route 118 onwards and upwards. And now, since we have Surf, we can cut through here. And this is not the remakes, so we will not be encountering Latios and Latias in this little area. Very interesting that in the remakes that they did that for you. And also, really cool Sapphire Satoshi history lesson, at least in my personal life. This little area of Route 116 on the water right here that we are at right now. Why can't I escape this wingle? Oh, because it was a higher level. But this little area right here is where I first caught Latias. For the first time ever, it was roaming and it was right in here. And I caught it with a timer ball because my young self... I didn't even read about it on the internet. My young self was like, a timer ball should work on this thing, right? Because I was having such issues with it. And it worked, and it was right on this route. So, good memories here. And now we're getting the good rod. Very nice. Definitely going to make some use of that. That'll be helpful to have. Let's continue on. Ah, oh, yes, another fisherman. Uh -huh, Carvana, that's a good one. Carvana has a really good shiny. Very good shiny Pokemon. Caught a few of them in Pokemon Go, and for some reason, always at amusement parks. I've gone to a certain amusement park that I may have mentioned on here a few times, and I won't mention by name because they might try to sue me, and I'm not trying to pay them any sort of royalty fees for using their company name on here. <laughs> but the House of Mouse has a lot of shiny Carvnia, Carvana, hanging around their hotels for some reason. I caught like three of them on that property, but... Just something to note. Hey, look at that. Steven Stone. Yes, we have met lots of Pokemon, Steven, but you're not here to give us a Latias or Latios this time, are you? Yes, yeah, Steven, you have a lot to chit chat it out about, don't you, my friend? Alright, moving along. See you later, Steven. We will also move. Right along here, let's see what kind of Pokemon we can encounter in this grass. There's a Wingle, that's not too crazy. In my opinion, the route we are about to head on to is one of the comfiest routes in the entire game. I'm a big fan of it. And all the routes kind of surrounding Fortree City, the one before and after. Bird Keeper's got a Wingle, but we've come prepared with our electric type Pokemon now, and we are going to use this Pokemon to get through some of these battles. Raijin, the Manetroik. Strong Pokemon. Let's continue it on. Take flight, my bird Pokemon. We have another bird trainer right here that we are going to do battle with. Chester and his tail. Alright, good thing we are prepared with our electric type. Raijin, paralyze those birds. Alright, moving it right along into Route 119. This individual is not ready to battle us. They are just upset that they cannot get their bike through the tall grass. Yep, that is one of the gimmicks about the tall grass, my friend. The extra tall grass, I suppose. We are going to have to go straight through the grass, though. That is our plan. That is what we will do. Oh, I'm so excited to see what our first encounter will be in this new tall grass, even though I accidentally encountered the trainer. But I know there is a lot of Pokemon out here to capture, so we will keep our Pokeballs ready. Bugcatcher Kent has a Ninjask, and that's a cool Pokemon. Classic Gen 3 Mon, the Ninjask. Hit him with the Shockwave. There we go. Another trainer down. All right, back to encountering the wild Pokemon. And now we are getting interrupted by Rose on the Pokenav. No, we haven't had success catching Pokemon lately because people keep calling me when I'm trying to do so. Thank you, bye-bye now. All right. Aha, Lyoon, Lyoon. Interesting one, let's add this to the decks. Definitely one that we're gonna need. Hit it with a spark. Yes, and got the paralysis, exactly what you want to see. Uno! Oh ho ho! It is not that easy, it looks like. Lanoon is not going down without a fight. 
We're not trying to take you down, Lanoon. We just want to capture you. I'm sorry, I should have said that first. Go, Great Ball. Level 25 Pokemon now, so the Great Ball, its usage is getting not as good. We need to get Ultra Balls soon. But we got the Lanoon. That's another one for the Pokedex. It is exceedingly fast if it only has to run in a straight line, like an alligator. When it spots pond-dwelling prey underwater, it quickly leaps in and catches it with its sharp claws. Very cool. There we go, another nice one for the decks. Let's keep it moving. Who else are we gonna encounter out here? All right. Ah, the Super Repel. It's a special tool that will help us later. I guess we can fight some more of these trainers since we are not encountering any wild Pokemon. All right, Donald, time to show you our thunder power. The power of the Hoenn Thunder. Take out your Wurmple in one hit, and it looks like Raijin is about to get the level 30. You love to see it. No need to switch out, let's just keep it rolling. Hit him again with a shockwave. Easy takedowns. We are running it, there we go, level 30, beautiful. Love to see it. And even Outlaw gains a level two. I wish we'd never met. It's so rude, man, what a sore loser. All right, well, we will uh, we will leave you now, I guess. Here we go, another trainer out here. Yes, just two strangers having a Pokemon battle. Oh, he's got a Volpe. That is a cool one. Too bad we have to take it down. One down, and I assume Ilamise next, yep. I remember you, Greg. I remember you from my many other playthroughs. One of the things I do remember about these games. It's good to revisit, though. Been having a lot of fun. Okay, all right, using the moonlight. Look at that image of a real moon in the game. <laughs> it's awesome. That is cool. Love to see it. Let's end this quickly, Raijin. Come on. Oh no, we don't have any... We should just go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Oh, come on. Don't just spam Moonlight, even though I do like seeing the, the real picture of the moon. Huh. <laughs> Gets in the quick attack. That's what we will do next turn. I will hit him with a quick attack. And that'll lock in the victory. There we go, all right, quick attack. Goodbye, Greg. Yes, we are strong. Strong with the force we are. Here we go, another encounter. Oh, Tropius. Yes. All right. That is a sick Pokemon. We will catch this Mon for sure. The banana Pokemon. No pre-evolution, no evolution, just a stage one grass and flying type. So I'm kind of scared to hit it with a shockwave. Let's just thunder wave it and go from there. All right. I think now is the time call upon the Great Ball. Yes, that is a good one for the Pokedex. It flies by flapping its broad leaves. Very broad leaves, yes. The bunch of fruit that grows around its neck is deliciously sweet. In the spring, it scatters pollen from its neck. Very nice. 
So we really just need Zigzagoon and we'll have most of the readily available Pokemon in this tall grass. We will find a Kecleon later. There is Zigzagoon. Excellent. We are making our way through the tropical route. 119, one of my favorite routes in the entire game, honestly. Everywhere now from this point on in Hoenn is just so 10 out of 10. I mean, I love the entire region, but this kind of upper half and then the uh, ocean part of it as well, like Moss Deep and Zootopolis, some of my favorite areas in the entire region. Very excited to be getting to them. I'm glad Captain Swamp did not completely faint that zigzagoon so we can hurl the great ball at it. There we go. Finally getting a zigzagoon for the decks. It's about time, but better late than never. Rubbing its nose against the ground, it always wanders about back and forth in search of something. It is distinguished by the zigzag footprints it leaves. Descriptive. You can always count on the Pokedex to give those good details. Alright, let's move it along up Route 119. I think we already faced that trainer. Yes, we did. Let's take out some more of these trainers here. We have to do that as well. In addition to capturing the Pokedex, defeating Team Aqua and Magma, meeting the legendaries, taking out the gyms. We're also focused on those trainer battles. Yes, there's just so much to do. And also, I do plan to do the secret base stuff, by the way. I did not forget about that. Just want to get through a little bit more of the game. But then we're going to do, like, a full secret base episode. I want to do all the trick house stuff, too. Get the tent from that. And uh, once we get to Lily Cove, probably I'll be more focused on setting up a secret base. Since you can buy a lot of items in the department store over there. Move on to the next trainer. Hello. Nope, we were looking for you, buddy. Don't worry, we do all of our trainer fights on every playthrough. We do not avoid trainers. Avoiding trainers is for novices. My friend, you have yet to involve your Ninkata in his level 28. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> 1 HP. Again, Silver, why are you showing mercy? He needs to get to level 30 to unlock his tree potential and get Fly. Doesn't Steven have a Skarmory on his Elite Four team in this game? If I'm remembering correctly, I think Steven does have a Skarmory. I'm not going to look up the Elite Four members teams or the Champions team or anything. I won't do that. I do remember for them for the most part, though, but there will be a few surprises in there because it's been a while since I played Emerald version, but we will get there one day. We will make it to the champ one day. That is the goal. Oh no, the Ninjas gets a speed boost. Fury Cutter does nothing against Silver's tough steel exterior. There we go, a nice level 29. Ah, perfect, get a new flying type move. Yes, air cutter, let's delete pack for air cutter. I will do that so quickly. Very nice, now silver. Do not show any mercy with your new move. The hyper potion, all right, we'll take it. Let's keep it moving. And the last battle here, I think, for right now. The Mimic Circle. Interesting. Ah, Surske, I love that sprite. That's a Gem 3 Pokemon right there. The Surske. Silver will now show us his new move. I love that animation. Alright, and he just had the Surskit, so easy battle. Let's move it right along. What's in here? Can you heal up in there? Yes, the 
HM5. We are getting that soon. Ah, oh, there's a May fight here too, coming up shortly, I believe. I think it's after the weather thing. Oh, this house is full of Wingle. That's lovely. All right, I like this house. Cave of Origin, yes, that is where Kyogre and or Groudon is, I believe. All right, well, house full of Wingle was interesting. Let's keep it moving. See what else we can encounter along this route. More trainer battles, I suppose. I think we will cut it once we get to the weather center. Love the weather center. We're going to get a cast form, too. I don't think I'll put the cast form on the team because while I do love cast form and I had an obsession with it when I was younger, like a lot of other weird Pokemon I really liked. I wish cast form was just <laughs> overall better, but I like its aesthetic. I like the idea of cast form. And Gloom survives the air cutter and gets the paralysis on us, and she's got a full restore? Random NPCs using full restores now. We are definitely playing Gen 3. Oh, uh, Skarmory doesn't do acid, but Silver is paralyzed. Do you like how I switch between my Pokemon's real names and their nicknames? <laughs> I love the Magic Leaf animation too. The Super Mario Star Razor Leaf. <laughs> I just love the slow pause and the air cutter animation. Like, you know what's gonna happen. There's nothing they can do. All right, Pokemon Ranger Catherine, we will not be playing your game on the DS, but we will register you on the Pokedab. I did have Pokemon Ranger on the DS. I was not a fan of it. The game was strange. Oh, didn't mean to talk to her again. Moving across the big bridge. Classic Feely Bridge. It's these moments that make you remember Gen 3 forever. Maybe we'll make our secret base back there. We'll have to check that one out because I do really like this route. We'll go back to that secret base slot for sure. We're going to have to check a few of them out, scout them out before we do decide a place to settle down. We have another Pokemon Ranger over here. He's only got one Bray Loom. That is a force to be reckoned with, but we have the Grass Cutter. Oh, the Leech Seed, the Paralysis. I believe you can heal up in the weather center at some point, so. Look at that, the one hit KO with the air cutter. Good job, Silver. Yeah, there we go. We will not make fun of you for your lack of knowledge. We will share our knowledge with you, Jackson, so that you can get better. Thank you for your Pokemon registration. Moving it right along. Another Lanoon. Uh -huh, we have a double battle coming up. Okay, let's situate the team here. We have taken a few blows. Outlaw is getting uh, to a pretty high level now, so I think it's time to take the XP share off of him. Yes, Outlaw, you do not need that. I'm not sure what level Cacnea evolves at. I don't quite remember, but... Let's give it to Sidewinder. You definitely need the XP share. And this Sviper is a good Pokemon. I just haven't really needed to use it yet, so I guess you're getting the XP share, my friend. We'll start using the Survivor a little bit more. Yeah, let's switch with the Poison Bard. You can have the Poison Bard back after the XP share does its job. Alright, let's take on this double battle. Alright, my friends, let's run it. Wookie hit him with the Fury Swipes. The Swellow is going to be an issue for Outlaw if it uh, hangs out too long. So, good thing that didn't hit Outlaw because that could hurt him a lot. These trainers have some pretty high level Pokemon for. Uh, 
what it's looking like. I mean, we're definitely playing Gen 3, that's for sure. Constant reminders. Reminders are everywhere. This is not the hand-holding modern games. No, no, no. Our team is holding up good, though. Hopefully Wookiee lands a little bit more on the Fury Swipes this round. Very nice. Good job, Wookiee. Take the Swallow out. I like that animation for water sport. It's a good one. Fire's power was weakened. When I was younger, I had no idea what that meant. No clue what that move did. Don't quite understand why they put that move in the game, too. Like, what is the point? I mean, I understand the point of it, like, competitively, but why give it to an NPC? <laughs> and why have them be coded to use it? I don't know. I don't know. The many mysteries... Pokemon Emerald. There's Sidewinder getting a level up. Very nice. And victory is ours in this double battle. Continuing down the tropics. Ah, yes. Our bicycle will be used to get up there. Bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Up we go. Very nice. And then it looks like we're going to have to go back down over there to get those two as well on the battle let's face this bird keeper first if i remember correctly this is a bird trainer hugh okay hugh he got the wingle i respect you for it because i like wingle i feel bad that i let wookie fall so behind so far behind in the level hierarchy of our team. He's a lower level now compared to some of the other members. It's that XP share. I forget that I put it on a Mon and it just go, go, goes, you know? We're fixing that now. There's level 27. Okay. Atrophius. Yep. Switch into Silver the Skarmory even though he's paralyzed. Even though he's paralyzed, that'll help us out still. Hit him with that air cutter. Tropius used growth. Tropius is growing as a Pokemon and finding inner self worth. Ooh, survives the air cutter too. Big defense on this mom. Tropius should have gotten a Mega or something, honestly. Like they did the Oras. They did the remakes of these games and they didn't give this Pokemon a Mega or anything. That's kind of lame. Tropius is a forgotten Pokemon. I do like its design though. Alright, let's keep it moving. And we will face this double battle right now. Oh, I screwed that up. Should have gone up the other way, but that's okay. We could just take them down one on one, I suppose. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired, so. Takashi. All right, buddy. You got the ninja ass. It activates my running gun. I'm not surprised at how good we are, but okay. Yeah, now I'm gonna switch Captain Swamp to the front. Ho ho ho! He's Santa Claus. Kindler Dainton Santa Claus. And he's got a Slugma, so Captain Swamp is the perfect on for the job here. The one hit KO. Easy takedowns for Captain Swamp, who is about to evolve. It looks like we are three levels away now, officially three levels away from Final Evolution. That will be exciting, probably in the next few episodes here. It's been very lovely to see Captain Swamp grow from a little tadpole of a mudkip. 
to a very strong and seasoned warrior out for blood. And we have the elixir now, so we can heal our magic power. That is lovely. Here's a zigzagoon again. Alright, our team... Team is a little bit fainted. So let's hope that there is something to do here in the Weather Institute where we can heal up or something of that nature. Team Aqua is blocking the bridge. Yes, we will not go near the Weather Institute. Don't worry, my friend. Just going to have a look around. Oh, there's that secret base down there, too. I think that may have been one of the ones I used when I was a kid. So we're going to have to investigate that one. Add it to the list of secret bases to go scout out. 